Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Who Invited Her? We are San Diego's longest fucking running GTQ <laughs> pop culture podcast. I am your host, Tony, and I'm here with my other host. I'm Daddy Bear Eric. You and almost sounded like Oprah. Welcome, welcome to, to uh, another you, uh, you sounded like um Catherine Hepburn. Ha, 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 I mean I am getting to that darling. age so. Oh no. <laughs> and I'm Bryn. I'm also Yes, here. Bryn's here too, you all. Uh it's been a hot minute since yeah. we've done this. I've been really busy. <laughs> so I've been I'm sorry, I have to apologize because I kept being like, let's do it on this day. You guys never mind. Let's do it on this day. <laughs> you guys never mind. We're taking a week off. <laughs> Yeah. I've been busy. Yeah. I've had a lot going on with like family, travel, and all that kind of stuff. How about you guys? Shall we catch up really quick? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's, I've been let's busy too. Up. I moved to another country. Yeah, yeah you you're did. living officially in, uh, in Mexico in, with yeah. Mr. Cesar. Yeah. yeah. How is that going? It's great. The tacos are wonderful. How's oh, married no. life? It's good. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's in the middle of construction, which is like literally like just a move or just a renovation is enough already on a couple yes. but yep. we have both of them at the same time what and um I, i'm impressed how well we got through it we didn't really fight so that's oh so that's good. good yeah that's sometimes good. <laughs> we had a little like you tiff, out. but i wouldn't call it a fight like oh, nobody do, do nobody tell. screamed at each other do you, you oh. i can't yeah. imagine you guys fighting. i can't imagine you guys screaming how no. would that even look no is yeah. it like a telenovela no uh, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's our friends. Yes, he's just like okay. that's next door. <laughs> oh man! Uh, and you, what's new with you, Bryn? I'm just planting tomatoes. Mm. No, you're not. Are you really? Yeah, I am. <laughs> that's not a euphemism. I planted. I some love tomatoes. that she is wearing plaid. And she has oil in her hair, and she's yep. planting. T- talk I about the B of it. LGBT. <laughs> <laughs> you're it's really true. planting tomatoes. I am planting. I planted some tomatoes. Um, I don't know. I just felt like doing something earthy. Earthy. <laughs> <laughs> I just was like wanted to, and we, and you know, I also planted some parsley and some cilantro and sage. And I and wish time. No, I'm I was like, I could be a witch. I you know, you now that were. I mean, I am I a mean, witch. You're but part I, of the veil. I am part of the veil. I could be a garden witch, is what mm. I mean, like an actual witch that's like putting stuff together, helping yeah. you get an abortion, helping you put a hex on someone. Like I need I just to helping you make a, a salad. Helping you make a salad. Yeah. Yeah. Also, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it could it could be multi-purpose. Yeah. Like I'm going to give you a salad that makes you horny. <laughs> oh my so. god, what would be in that salad? Arugula. <laughs> Why arugula? <laughs> that is so random. It's the arugula. horniest green. <laughs> I'm putting that on the shirt. Arugula. It's the horniest green. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh my oh. goodness! You want to um, give a shout out? You were just on a podcast. A very oh, yes. good friend of ours. I, yes, I uh, was on D'Angelo's Bald and Bingeable podcast. Yes, and D'Angelo has been on our show multiple times, and yes. we've all been on his show. Friend of um, the pod. Been friend of the pod. You yeah. were on a very long episode. We, D'Angelo and I, um, he messaged me and he was like, "Hey, do you want to come on the show and talk Bravo shit?" And I was like, "Yes, always. I will drop my child off on the corner. What do you need?" <laughs> and um, we started the podcast and talked. A- not about Bravo. We talked yeah. about Candace Bergen's Instagram account. We talked about mm. art projects we did as children. And then we talked Bravo. So it was like a two hour long episode. It was, long it was episode. Wow. very yeah. long. But it was so fun. <laughs> yeah, and he's we fun. Talked- and I've just been dying to talk about Vanderpump. Yeah, because we don't talk about it on this show. Nope, no. you, we do not. Why? Because it's trash. No, I'm and kidding. that's what totally you guys kidding. think. <laughs> totally but I, I was so excited and yeah. like happy just to be able to talk about it and give my opinions. And okay. um, you know, he is really into and just like that. Yes. Oh yeah, he, he really. Is. Yes. Yes. And yes. I yes. mentioned something about not liking. Um, Sarah Jessica Parker, and he got very upset. <laughs> Did you guys remember that Mad TV spoof where they had it was Sex in the City, but it was B. Arthur playing Sarah Jessica <laughs> Parker <laughs> no. with the blonde wig and oh, everything? No. It was I. Oh, I stumbled God. upon it on TikTok recently, and I was like, I totally forgot about this skit. It is hilarious if you guys can find it. B. Arthur doing Sex in the City. Golden Girls is the original Sex in the City. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. Even though it was in Florida, but that shitty state. Mm. You know, back then it was like, that's where you retired to. Yeah, now yeah. Florida. Can we just cut Florida off? And just send cut them on the- it off. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we, it's just trash. Sorry just if you're from Florida. Buoy it out trash. into the sea. I'm not sorry if you're from Florida. Yeah, it's trash. Florida, you guys elected your fucking, fucking idiot trash. governor who is a racist, homophobic, and it just hates kids and I people li- that are not white. And lied about all of his qualifications. All of it. But then did not step down. Yeah. Which is wild to me that you wouldn't be like, you have lied about your basic level of education. Step down. I can't with people. I can't. I can't. But no, they he said he's going to run for president. Yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. yeah. Then we're all gonna be. Sure. He's the one we should be worried about because he's unlike Trump, he, I, he's smarter. Uh, yeah, a he little kn- bit. A little bit. But he yeah. knows politics. Exactly. Yeah. So well, that's what's you know, scary. I had a friend last year tell me Ron DeSantis is really the one that we need to be worried about. Yeah. Ron DeSantis? Why him? Um, Wait, Ron. De- I get confused. There's the one that was a dry queen. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was the one, then the really evil one that's fighting. DeSantis. DeSantis. DeSantis is the evil one. In and, Florida, then, yeah. and then the dry queen one is who? Little, what did, what, oh, what did Trump call name. him? I can't remember. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I know who you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I know. I've... I have purposely been off of social media and took yeah. a break from like a lot of new stuff because it was getting too toxic. And I think it's very smart for everybody to take a break from all of that because it's fucked up out there right now. It's so, Real yeah. fucked up. I think yeah. what did it to me was watching that drag show with a bunch of Nazis out front God, and man. realizing there is an actual Nazi party in this country yeah. that's not hiding, that is fully out there. Why and should they? Yeah, why should they? They had like Trump gave him the power to not hide the hate. I I watched a documentary recently yeah. on Hulu and it was called Grand Nighthawk. Hmm. And Grand it was Night. about this FBI agent who infiltrated the KKK. And this was re- I mean, not super like in the two thousands, I believe. Mm-hmm. And three members of the KKK worked in the prison system and i think this was in florida too or it was somewhere in the south yeah and they worked for a prison and one of the guards as guards and one of the guards got into a fight with a black man they also happened to be members of the kkk so they went to the kkk and i guess there is a specific member called the grand nighthawk probably who's like their hitman oh my god so they went to this guy and they said we want this man killed and they worked and they waited for him to get out of prison. And they didn't know that this guy, the Grand Nighthawk, was an FBI agent. What? Wow. But the journalist who sort of broke it and investigated yeah. it was like, he, he drove through the parking lot of the prison. And there are like bumper stickers on the you know staff members' cars that are like, good boy you know like whatever yeah, yeah, they yeah. do like kkk stuff and stuff all that's that white known, people and like shit q yeah it's, it's, true. It's, true, it's true and they're like they didn't do they didn't do anything about like they know yeah. that there are people working for them that are members of the kkk and they're just openly like putting a fucking bumper sticker on your car hi i'm a racist and then you're like pulling into uh, the work parking lot. Yeah, I a government, even wear a well, government our, yeah. agency, yeah. exactly. Agency on top of it's it. kind of makes you think like, what do we do? What do what, 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 what do, we, what do, do? we do? What like, do we do? I know. What you, you do we do? You watch more Bravo is what you I do. I guess. Exactly. Jesus Christ. You drink more wine. Because that will yeah. take you to another place. You get just invested in scandal. Hunker down and <laughs> pray for daylight. <laughs> yep. That's why I want to watch pre-apocalyptic movies and shows now. Yeah. I mean, it's already so we're already, bad. We're already at the, the end a, of it. What a good pre-apocalyptic. Yeah, we talked about that last yes, time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I went to go see my mother this weekend. That was interesting. That's a- I went to Arizona, um, met a side of the family I had didn't even really know existed. Oh, wow. um, turns out I have a lot more relatives than I thought. Um I love my mother to death, right? She can't hear worse shit anymore. Mm. She's starting to forget things. So Saturday when I was, and she lives in Arizona, Tucson, um, which there's certain parts of Tucson that are beautiful and there's certain parts that are not. Um, so she's been, she's like, help me go, let's go house shopping. Let's go buy stuff for the house, like decorations. And she was like, we're going to Home Goods. That's where I want to go. And I was like, are you sure? Yes. Okay. Spent a half an hour in the car driving to Home Goods because she couldn't remember how to get there. <laughs> um, I we get to Home Goods, she realizes, oh, this isn't the store I was talking about. Love it. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, what? what and she's she- like, I, I I can't remember the name, but it has home in it. 
And I'm like, are you serious, mother? <laughs> so then she has to call my aunt, who doesn't pick up the phone. And she's like, I think it's down this street. So we're driving down one street. And she's like, it's a big white building. What was I am it? trying. It was called At Home. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So she got it confused. And then we go there. Mind you, it was much closer than the <laughs> half an hour drive we took. <laughs> um, we, get it, we get in. They had... A whole section of just gnomes. I know. I saw it on your Instagram. Just oh. gnomes. Oh, yeah, yes. it's perfect for you. I, I was in heaven, and I was. I had to tell myself, "Don't buy anymore. Don't buy anymore." So when I was planting my tomatoes, yeah. I was trying to get like a rough looking gnome to protect like, what do you mean them. A rough look looking gnome, like, like a nugget? scary one. Like, hey, I'm Terry. <laughs> Terry's not a scary name for now. Okay. Hey, I'm Beef Hardback. Beef Hardback is a porn name for a gnome. <laughs> Stay away from these tomatoes. He's a porn gnome. Yeah, he's, he's a, a porn, porn He's a gay porn he's gnome. He's a gay yeah, porn gnome, which like... means he understands the importance of gardening, yeah. so he will protect and he's, it. That's true. And he gets paid well. Yes. Yeah. And I couldn't find... We were at... Beef Hardback? Beef Hardback. <laughs> beef Hardback the gnome. What does Beef Hardback the gnome look like, I wonder? Um, Very twink. <laughs> <laughs> That is I'm not what I was thinking. Be far back. <laughs> Instead of a red hat, it's a sparkly pink one. Yes, hat. exactly. He's blonde. Get, just yeah, really it's just the frosted skinny. tips. Yeah. I actually <laughs> really want to see a twink gnome. I Let's do too. Find it. If you yeah. guys know of any resources out there that would allow us to get a twink gnome, gnome. So to protect can... my tomatoes, please <laughs> name the beef hardback. Beef hardback. Because <laughs> his back is just hard Horn. as beef. <laughs> but yeah it was an interesting trip and then i had to drive my mom back to temecula to visit my sister that was a long drive <laughs> there's but it was something good. about hanging out yeah. with your mom past a certain age yeah that is i adore her do but you, i love my yeah. mom you know do, do you start to get scared that like you're turning into them because yep. yes. that's happening to me absolutely 100 percent. yeah i'm like maya my mother oh. yes i yeah. do things now like little mannerisms mm-hmm. do you really i do and i'm like fuck that's just like my mom yeah 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 but i also do things that are just like my dad yeah so when do you when do you start feeling like you're turning into your parents like at what age do you think that starts happening for God. people I think like older, older thirties. Yeah, late thirties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because then you're like, this is it. If you had to choose mom or dad, who would you want? My dad. (laughs) Oh, okay. (laughs) My mom knows this. What about you, Eric? (laughs) Oh, my mom, Rosemary. Yeah, (laughs) hands down. Yeah, I I want just my mom. I mean, I don't know who my father is. (laughs) You just be a ghost. (laughs) Just be a ghost. Ghost. <laughs> oh my god should we get into some trending stuff this week Let's do yeah it. do you want to do you, what since we've been off i mean uh, really? okay first i want to get your guys's opinion on this there is a new show coming out um called drag me to dinner have you guys read about this i've heard about yeah. it yeah um so the pr- should we watch the trailer and yeah. just like yes. uh okay talk amongst yourselves while you set okay. this up my my only thing is the um See if this will even work. The Neil Patrick Harris of it. So all. it's Neil Patrick uh, Harris. Do not and like him. No. I I had a thing against him too until I saw that show that was on Netflix with him. Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I I'm warmed up to him. He's just Why has he just playing? like a, a he's done a slew of things like to women that mm. have been like disrespectful. Oh, I didn't know that. And like, well, he. Like, like a what? month, like well, like a month after Amy Winehouse died, okay. he had a meat platter at one of his Halloween parties that like looked like a woman, and it said the corpse of Amy Winehouse. No, Ooh. yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. That's really fucked up. Yeah, that's yes. That's really fucked. Up. <laughs> Very fucked up. And yeah. then he, when Rachel Bloom was hosting the Tonys, mm-hmm. he tweeted and he was like, "Who is this girl?" Rachel Bloom mm. from Ex Girlfriend. Yeah, my crazy ex girlfriend. Yeah, I love that show. And she tweeted back and she was like, "Hey, Fuck I'm you. on the show, but also like my husband was a writer on How I Met Your Mother. So mm. like my husband used to work on your show, and he like tweeted. He was like, like who is this girl? And then he has this thing where he like stopped being friends with Mayim Bialik because she didn't give him a standing ovation Mayim when he. Oh yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Um, yeah. Blossom. 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 Um, because she didn't give him a standing ovation when she saw him in Rent. 
And he was just like cut her off after that. Mm. I don't know why this isn't. And I was like, you know, yeah, you're not that. I mean, you had Doogie Howser and like. I well, also was like, okay, you were great in rent. Like, I, <laughs> you're gonna cut off a friendship because <laughs> like you didn't stand, you didn't give me a standing ovation. ovation. Yeah. And, and you're like, like, you were just okay in rent. I mean, like you were fine. Well, his show on Netflix got canceled after one season, so yeah. All right, that's <laughs> that's hard to live down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just like you yeah. know, I think him coming out was was really good. You know. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see if we can play this and check out this um, trailer. I'm really curious to see what you. Good show on three. Okay. Ready? Okay. One. Okay. Good show. Okay. Wait. Two. Good show. No. Wait until I say three. Good show. Neil Patrick Harris and David Burka present a world of imagination, okay. where two teams of your favorite drag queens face off to throw the best. <laughs> we're cooking. Oh, we're decorating. <laughs> we're vibing. Funniest. Grab our meat most drag-tastic theme dinner party of their lives. We're so happy you've joined us here. And provide one night only entertainment for our judges. Luck of good times. Whoa. These iconic Keep queens off. will cook up fabulous <laughs> food. We're gonna give them something sweet, neat, and ready for eat. Delicious cocktails. I feel like I might have been overserved. And transform these ordinary oh, rooms. Good. Make sure it's well hung, yeah. Sherry. I always do. Into fantastical party venues. Time Marie, how is how running out. Oh. A show about drag queens cooking and drinking? What could possibly go wrong? Okay, okay. I didn't come here to make friends. <laughs> I came here to make dinner. <laughs> if this doesn't win an Emmy, okay, what did I you don't guys, know what I mean, really I like the premise. They have to put together a dinner party. I like that. Yeah. And they do different drag queen pairs i mean the cast looks good yeah i love murray great. hill murray hill's so funny yeah I'm and i'm glad it's a drag that. king instead exactly. of exactly just it's, and it's not just rupaul's drag race girls yeah jackie beach sherry vine yeah. hecklina and peaches christ and it's hecklina's last thing she did before she unfortunately passed away oh, so yeah yeah, oh, yeah that's be... gonna be i think it might be good it looks good it looks good that looks I... good I, it's combining two things that I love, which is drag and cooking shows. So <laughs> I'm into that. Okay, but like, okay. do any of them know how to cook? That's I, what I was yeah. thinking too. Like, what are they actually going to be cooking? Exactly. That's uh, scary. Well, well, they get a theme every week and they have to do a dinner party based on that theme, apparently. Do they get so. time to like plan a menu? Why am I? Uh, do you know all the details? We're like at we're like grilling no, Tony. We're like explaining. <laughs> like, it I'm to like us, I don't Tony. know. Like Tony wrote it. <laughs> do they get time? exactly? Like, this is Tony's concept. Wait, let me see. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't give a lot. It's just um, queens will be featured in the series as contestants. In turn, Neil Patrick Harris, Bianca Del Rio, and Hannah Fa- Hannah Fa Wood will appear as Pretty judges. Sure, yeah. A show about drag mm-hmm. kings cooking and drinking. Del Rio says in a trailer. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. I love that. So, what would you I don't guys know. make? If someone came in right now, spaghetti. Neil... Spaghetti. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. What would you make? I want to do a Hawaiian themed. Like Oh, like know. a tiki oh, themed. Yeah. And then okay. I think I would cook um what's the what's the meat patty on the rice? Spam? Um, no, no, mocha loco. Yes, oh, mocha loco. That's what delicious. I'm gonna make. Yeah. What would you make? Yeah. I would do Olivia Wilde salad that made Jason but Bateman. You have to pick a theme in front of the car. Um, celebrity scandals. <gasps> oh, actually, that's a really that would good be theme. Yes, the, the grilled salmon and the salad. It's I've made it several times now. It's actually very. And good. then you have to do the feta with the tomato. The feta. Yes. Was, yeah. Exactly. TikTok shit. TikTok shit. Wow. Yeah, you gotta I do have it. No Everybody's idea what you're so creative. About. I know. <laughs> and I'm so excited. I have no idea. What you're talking about. I don't know what mine would be. Would you just mm. do spaghetti? Maybe. You know who would be good at it? Melvin. Yeah, he's yeah. a good cook. Yeah. Yeah. My child, who's an illegal adult. He's a legal adult. He's over 18. Mm-hmm. Um, No, I would do a Bette Midler themed dinner party. Oh. What would you make? Yeah, what food? Oh, that's a hard one. Yeah. I would probably pull stuff she ate from different movies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Her characters. Her yeah. characters. I'd have yeah. cooked rabbit for beaches when yep. she dressed up like say, a rabbit yep. and she's yep. saying, love it. Happy birthday, bunny boy. Uh, yeah. Uh, that would yeah. be funny. There you go. That would be funny. <laughs> I would love that. 
<laughs> stuff like that. Like That's little, what I would do. You could do a little beach martini. <laughs> yes. And drink and have a little yep. umbrella in the beaches. Or yeah. I would do like the, what's it called? Like a flamingo drink for the beaches scene. Yes. Where they go into um, that flamingo the lounge. Fl- and yep. she's like, it looks like a flamingo threw up in here. That yeah, I would perfect. totally do that. I love that. Yeah. I'd have something for like like a chihuahua because of the All Dogs Go to Heaven or whatever movie she did. And she played a, um, a poodle. But the guy, the little dog she was in love with was a chihuahua named Tito. Do you remember that movie? You no, could have no. Tito's Oliver and Company. Oliver it was Oliver and Company. And Company. Yeah, was oh, Oliver. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, Oliver and Company. You could, have, yeah. you could have Tito's vodka. There you go. Oh you uh, have to do a Hocus Pocus thing. You could do like a ooh. witch's brew cocktail. Yeah. Witch's brew. Yeah, that's okay. true. All right. Lady Fingers or we something. We did it. Lady yeah. Fingers. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. There you go. <laughs> that's what we should dress up as the Sanderson sisters for Halloween. Everybody mm. does that. You know, know who I think we should do? What? The First Wives Club. That Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, right. That is, yes, that would yes. be hilarious. Yes. for Halloween. <laughs> I get to be Diane Keaton. Yes, you do. You could be Goldie Hawn. Goldie Hawn. Actually, Eric, that would be perfect. I'll do it. <laughs> That'd be so fun. We have to do it in the white suits. Yes, the white yeah. suits. For yeah, sure. And I want the mom hair. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I me. will. So the you show comes out um, May thirty first on Hulu. Okay. Um, I'm ex- I'm curious about it. I think I'm gonna. I like the pairing of the drag queens because Ben de la Creme and Jinx are together. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It's drag queens that are famously paired. Like yeah. You, yeah. You, but that actually get along with each other. Alaska and Willem because yes. they do race chasers. So. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I yeah. think it's actually gonna be an interesting. Yeah, show. I'm it's excited. Smart. I love yeah. watching people cook, and I like people. Um, Cooking nice for you? Finger, fingernails. I, I think I would enjoy someone with acrylic fingernails cooking. I would like to watch okay, that. I love okay. watching people cook while I'm eating like McDonald's. Yep. A hundred percent. Wait, what? Yes. Yep. Why? A hundred percent. Just like shitty food. I don't know why. I just, get, like, I do it. I'll get a giant bean burrito from Rigoberto's by <laughs> my house. Well with it. And I'll watch Top Chef. Yeah. And I'll go, ooh, it's beanie. Yeah. <laughs> it's a beanie. It's like a little too beanie, you know? It's a little too on the, the nose. The cheese is not melted enough. Yeah. I hate when you get a bean and cheese burrito and the cheese isn't melted and you can taste it's still cold. Yes. That's the I love yeah. being all judgy and be like, that steak is overcooked while you're eating a French fry. Exactly. Like, That's exactly <laughs> it. Like, like, who am I to judge? I didn't even eating cook. Eating a bean burrito, I'm like, oh no, you should have seen that. Wait, yeah. what cooking shows do you guys watch? Every single one. Like, what's your tops? Okay, so. Um, the Great British Baking Show. I love that oh, show. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much I'll the only that. one I really watch. Top yeah. Chef. I don't watch Top mm. Chef. I can't with um, them. Oh my mm. god, so good. With Gordon Ramsay? No, 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 no. Top Wait, Chef that's is on Hell's Bravo. Kitchen. Yeah. No, mm. Top I don't Chef do Hell's Kitchen. Kitchen. Okay. There's um a couple of really good ones. Um, Anthony. Yeah, from hosts, Queer Eye. Yeah. Um, uh, one on Netflix, Easy Bake Off. But easy they, bake oven? No. Yeah, it is. It Do is they have to have, bake everything in an easy bake oven? It's a big, giant, easy bake oven. Oh, my God. I'd watch they, that. But they make, like, full meals. Like, one really? time they had to do a Thanksgiving dinner. In so, an easy bake oven. Wow. Yeah. It's so your like food's cooked by a giant light bulb. Yes, exactly. There's, <laughs> <laughs> there's one where you have to take leftovers yeah. and turn them into, like, a I've completely seen that different before. meal. I love. You know what I used to love that Australian show, Sugar Confections or whatever. Yes, <gasps> I know you're talking I about. I watch that. Obsessed yes. with that because it was all dessert, and they had dessert. to make these in crazy, insane cakes and shit. Yep. It was so good. There's I used Bake to love Squad. That. My problem bake with squad. the bake stuff is that I just want to eat it, oh, I know. and I'm like, I'm ravaging the refrigerator afterwards. That's yeah. why you have to yeah. have a meal. Mm-hmm. The worst is you. watching that when you're high. Mm. <laughs> it really is. You yeah, guys. I bet that's Three hundred dollar Postmates order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to know what I did yesterday? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I took yeah. So yesterday we we got in late and all that kind of stuff. I was starving. Yeah. I hadn't eaten all day. I was so so hungry. I said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna order Taco Bell. I ordered. Mm. that is hard to do it is it is but i did it i didn't eat all of it i will say that i did leave one chalupa left but (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> but I didn't. And I felt so guilty afterwards. Uh, Can I tell you the heartburn I had? Oh, God. oh, I bet. Yeah. You know what I do? I love? literally, when I took a shit the next day, oh, it looked like a bean and cheese burrito. It was just <laughs> not cute. Oh, it's my God. the opposite God. of the diet that I'm doing yeah, right now. Yeah, mine too, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I may look a little bloated today. It was the salt. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, Taco Bell and Del Taco are very vegetarian and vegan friendly, though. They I don't are. like Del Taco. So that's dope. Really? I really I don't like I love for Del Taco. It. Do you? Del Taco's hamburger is that so is so good. good. It's so good. French fries yes. are good. You would never think to eat that so there. Good. It's you so know who good. used to love Del Taco? Producer Rob. Oh. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. was a Del Taco it's boy. Yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> go to Del Taco. He's like, let's go get authentic Mexican. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Del Taco. Del Taco. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a quesadilla, please? A what? Quesadilla. Like you're from Spain? Like you're from Spain. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were having a seizure. Arroz con pollo. I thought you were imitating producer Rob having a seizure. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Ah. Producer Rob. Uh, yeah. Poor, in our, well, in our thoughts. Rob. Yeah, yeah. No. He's still alive. You make it sound like he died. <laughs> I didn't say He's still alive. I didn't say R.I.P. He's, I said He's in our, our thoughts. thoughts. Thoughts and Jesus. prayers. <laughs> Do you guys want to watch another trailer of another yes. gay show that's coming oh, right. out? Yes. Okay, so this one is called um, I Kissed the Boy. It's the UK's first gay dating show. All right. Yeah, all right. Um, so I don't, I don't, do you remember that one? There was one dating show a long time oh, ago. Oh, on Logo, where where they had to like compete for the main guy. Yeah, was what one? was that called? Uh, um, and Lance Bass was the yeah, host guy. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. yeah, and I remember one of oh one of the contestants was like here in San Diego or from San Diego, Ooh. and he was kind of a dick. <laughs> um, I don't, I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember the name of that. So either. let me pull this up. Talk amongst yourselves okay. again. Okay. I'll give you a topic. Bean and cheese burritos. <laughs> minus the bean and the cheese. And the cheese. <laughs> Go. We just have a tortilla. A tortilla. A, yeah. How, yeah. No, so how do you say it? Tortilla. Uh, no, oh, how tortilla. would you say it in que Spanish? Quesadilla. No, say it with your Australian accent. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, Bryn. Um, tortilla, mate. Now mm. say it as Jennifer Coolidge in Australia ordering a quesadilla. These tortillas, no, Jennifer to kill Coolidge me. with an Australian <laughs> accent ordering it These in Spain. These tortillas, they're trying to kill me, yeah. mate. And now Jennifer Coolidge doing an impression of John Travolta ordering Ew. in Australia. These are tortillas. Uh, Mr. Carter. That was the worst. Wow. <laughs> hey, you're, you're laughing a lot of stuff. I'm, <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, I yeah, can you actually can. tell what that was, though. <laughs> All right, ready here? Let's watch the trailer for I Kissed the Boy and see if this is a show we're going to tune into or not. Is that Danny Minogue? It's about know. time for a show like this. Ten single boys Don't like are meeting it. for the first time. They're no. all young. Don't no like chat, okay. no messages, I mean, just a kiss. But the path to love is never straight. No, what? Are you for real? Girl, if you're saving your you're kiss right, for do. a different boy, don't turn. Boom, boom, boom. This boy will never, ever forget yeah. our first kiss. Ooh, the that's UK's that's first out. gay dating show, I Kissed a Boy. Watch on no. BBC I think it's just guys kissing. It looks I like just a big makeout session. It think, looks like it? everyone just kissing all the time. I don't know about this. I don't know how I feel about it. They meet for the first time and they kiss. Yeah, they kiss. I don't like that. I don't either. I I'm going like to say no that, like, thank you. I don't see myself representative as an older gay person. You know, after 40, y'all, we're not dead. We I still just, have lives. Jesus fucking Christ. That pisses <laughs> me off. It really well, you know, does. You can't go on The Bachelor if you're like over yeah. like 32. I want a like show that. with like real. I'm sorry, sir. Real. Maybe you should try VH1. Uh, you guys uh, podcast is over we've yep. resolved yep this it. is it i am done uh, 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 apparently been, i've hit my limits it's been a good run <laughs> it's been a good run you guys here's what i don't like is the way that like gay people are sexualized like the queer community is overly sexualized all the time and it's that like all we care yeah. about is yeah like, we're yeah. all horned up and then it's like they meet and they immediately have, have to, to make kiss. out and it's like I'm not okay, for it. I'm man. sorry. Yeah, I'm not, it just I'm feels not. very reductive. Yeah. Right? yeah. Yes. What I don't. I don't you know what? It doesn't feel like it. Doesn't feel real. I want to see like the real 
nitty gritty of a dating show. Like you go and you get ghosted five million times yep. before you actually meet somebody in person. 100%. You show up on a date and they don't look like their picture. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? This is just, this whole reality show is just Tony looking very sad in an Italian <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> yes, checking yes. his phone every yeah. every five minutes. <laughs> yeah. you go, oh wow! And then like, can I get yeah. another? When the door opens <laughs> every time, <laughs> and a waiter comes over, you're just like another Sauvignon Blanc, yeah. please. Yep. Why not? <laughs> Give me some white lady white wine <laughs> and then they're like and next week, week. and then it's like a preview when the door opens and then we see the actual episode and it's just your mom <laughs> 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 dropping off my my, my prescriptions for omeprazole or something <laughs> omeprazole <laughs> she's like I know you're having Italian your stomach feels funny <laughs> afterwards <laughs> it was tomato based it's, it's the yeah, acid they're acidic yeah, yeah. I, I, that's the kind of dating show I want to see, like how it really is. Yeah, you know, being You're on right. the apps and all that. Yeah. It's right. not all. You don't go and no. kiss somebody on the first date. Mm-mm. Let's count like, putting their dick in your mouth to kiss. But that's another. Yeah. Bunch. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Are you going to tune into that? No. This one? no. No. No, I'm not interested. I would like some ladies in there as well. Yeah. yeah. Like, why don't we do a 50 50 split? Yeah. yeah. You know? I think you should be. I think shows now, especially if we're coming out, shows, especially within the LGBTQ community, we need to get away from the cookie cutter. Yeah. 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 There's I way agree. more variety of people in our community. We need to start showing that, especially because. We're being attacked every single day, yep. so representation is important. Mm-hmm. And this show, I'm glad they have people of color, yeah. but they all look like they're in their 20s. They're all skinny and fit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not no. You know, no, be dope. You, ma'am. Put a bunch of bi people in the house. Oh and, god, because then it's they're just switching, an orgy. and then they're switching back and forth, and you never know. Yeah, you never know. That'll keep you on. You your know toes. what you do. You put a bunch of pie people in a house. One of them has a clap, and the whole thing is to figure out that one person by the end Stay of the show. Yeah. yeah, patient zero. Patient zero. Wow. The clap. <laughs> the clap. I don't know. <laughs> Shut up, you guys. 1972. <laughs> yes. Ah, I got the clap. clap. <laughs> well, now you can turn on the light. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Anybody remember? The <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, but you know we're clapping. Uh, no idea what no. you're talking no, about. No, they don't. They're like, oh. ah, yeah. look it up. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know we're going to clap too. A break. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to be right back, you guys. <laughs> Wait a second. Do you hear that? It's the sound of your wallet crying out for help because you need a great hosting service for your podcast, but don't want to break the bank. Well, have no fear because Blueberry Pro Hosting is here to save the day. And not only that, they are offering our listeners a special deal. That's right, with the code WIH, you can get your $100 Blueberry Pro Hosting setup fee waived. And don't worry, their support team is always available to answer any onboarding questions you might have. So, what are you waiting for? Get your podcast hosted with Blueberry Pro Hosting today and start sharing your stories with the world. And remember, use the code WIH at checkout to get your setup fee for free. Thanks for listening. Hey, everybody. We're back from break. We, well, Bryn refilled her drinks. I sure did. Hold on. The music's still going. There we go. Shut up. There we go. (laughs) (laughs) We're back. Um, So while we are on break, can you explain what you were doing with your daughter, please? I thought I, it was very cute. It, oh, I was FaceTiming her. So every day that I'm not with her, we FaceTime. And we do this thing called Peak, Pit, and Buffalo. So the peak is the best part of your day. The pit is the worst part of your day. And the buffalo is just like something unexpected that happened. So I like this. I love yeah, that. It's just you like know what? Nice I think way. we're going to do this on the show. Okay. <laughs> Why not? It. And then when sure. Flint's here, she could hop on and oh, give yeah. her hers to hers. She said today that her pit was that I was doing the podcast without her. Oh, so Aww. yeah. She felt she, left out. <laughs> she, Poor she thing. Like, Tony's there? What? <laughs> she even knew your schedule. She's like, I thought you did it on Sundays or Saturdays. Yeah, yeah. she was like all upset. Because, <laughs> well, the last time 
I was like prepping her. We were going to do yeah. it on a Saturday, and then you weren't feeling well. Yeah, I got And sick. she cried. Did she? Oh, but man. It's mostly because when oh. I bring her, she gets to watch videos and eat McDonald's. Screen time yeah. to herself. Yes. She yeah. gets her alone time. And that's yeah. what she was like, that's my me time. <laughs> she <laughs> goes on my sofa with her blanket, tunes yeah. us all out. Yeah. Can't be she, bothered. <laughs> I get her a happy meal. Yeah. And th- this is like my time where I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, this is my me time, so I'm the worst mom. I'm like, you want a happy meal? <laughs> what do you, you want? want? Some screen time. Let's get you set up. Like, okay, what was your peak pit in Buffalo? Okay, so today my peak is doing the podcast. Because uh, I since love we it haven't done it in forever. Very much, yeah. <laughs> my pit was, I didn't say this to Flynn, but yeah. um, it was like a hard day at work. I had to fire someone. <gasps> That's never it's fun. Yeah. Did you say you're fired? I say we will be terminating our employment relationship with you effective immediately. That's oh. what I say. It's tough. That's that rough. sucks. It's rough. Yeah. And then my Buffalo is that it was such a nice day today. Finally. Really? In San Diego, it's been like so cold it, and mm, rainy and gross. I missed it over there. You know, it was really interesting. I left San Diego Friday. It was raining and cold Friday morning, mm-hmm. and I was driving through Alpine, 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 and Bayhas, <laughs> leaving, going into the mountains. My car was like, it's 41, 42 degrees. It was raining. I get over the mountains, get into the El Centro, the Imperial Valley, 70 degrees. By the time wow. I got to Tucson, it was almost 90. Oh, wow. Mm. It was like such That's, a difference yeah, in the, yeah. Yeah. the temperatures. Yeah. It's yeah. crazy. What is, yeah, what what is your you buffalo? Oh, wait, your Buffalo is a good day. What is yours? Eric? Um, so I would say my peaks doing the podcast tonight. Yeah. Hey. Um, my pit was that when I went to get tacos, they didn't have asada tacos. But my unexpected is I went down the block and got fish tacos. Ooh. Oh, and they were fantastic. Nice. Yeah. See? Turn there it you around. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. What about you, Tony? Is that my phone? Did I turn, <laughs> forget to turn my phone off? I heard a ding. <laughs> Probably me. Yeah. Was, um. My um. What is it? Pit. Pally. Peak. 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 Peak Buffalo. would probably no work getting off of work in the podcast. Mm. My pit was uh, the Taco Bell leaving <laughs> my body today. <laughs> the Buffalo is unexpected, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, random. Random? Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I don't hmm. do random. Kind of. <laughs> That's not what I heard. Ah, shut your <laughs> mouth, you. God damn it. <laughs> um, I don't know. My random would be... Um, I, d- I really don't know. I didn't mm-hmm. have anything random sometimes today. That's okay. So, and you know, yeah. Sometimes you're like, I didn't have that today. Yeah. No, I didn't have a random. It was a very kind of day. Just meh. There you go. Yeah. Except yeah. for that Taco Bell. Except for that Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> you know what was random? The color of that Taco Bell coming out. That was that. There you go. <laughs> oh, my God. Mm. Enough about shit. Let's move on. Yeah. To Let's talk about Target. <laughs> Let's talk about Target. <laughs> wow, look who came with a segue this Ew. week. Ooh. So, you guys, every year around this time, when it starts, we start to get into Pride season, Target... Releases their Pride merch or Pride what, 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 collection. Yeah. yeah. It's been notoriously aggressive. <laughs> so you, I there's hits this and misses. Last year. Yeah. There's yeah. hit and misses. So, so there's been some really big misses in the past and some decent hits. Like, remember, yeah. I think last year they had that rainbow suit for men that was yeah. shorts and then the jacket. The blazer. Oh, yeah. yeah. The yeah. blazer yeah. that you saw everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah, and some of the girls' dresses, the prairie dresses one year were not cute. I have one of those dresses. <laughs> God. Um, so I thought it would be fun if we reviewed oh, I love it. Yes. Um, Targets this year's. Let's do <laughs> it. As long as queer. no one is screaming, cheers, queers, queers. at yeah. me, yeah. I'm fine. Did that happen? I told you last year I walked into Target and like the first thing I saw was like a big wall of like jugs that was like cheers queers oh, with no. three exclamation marks and I was like I feel personally attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a second to get into you're the like, store. Uh, calm down. Yeah, you're very aggressive. <laughs> like, yeah. And I was yeah. like, uh, all of a sudden very defensive. Yeah. I was like, how do you know? <laughs> Who, Who told here? you? Who, knows Who told here? you? <laughs> what am I wearing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Let's let's do this. There, it's on screen. Okay, so the first one, so. 
I like. I that. didn't pick all of the stuff. There's a sure. lot of yeah. merch, so I just did a couple. Let me see if I can get to that. There we go. Um, so they had a lot of drag queen merch this year. Yeah. So this one for the audience who's listening to the podcast, um, go to its YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and you can watch the video version. But it's a Trixie Mattel shirt. Yeah, I like it's it. it's one of her tour shirts that I've seen her do this shirt before. I I was like I love it, and they have a Katia shirt oh, and a Lux Katia? Noir London shirt. Oh. Weird. Okay. Yeah, I was like, not gross. the winner. Somebody no. got the wrong memo. Yeah. <laughs> Katya's uh, my favorite. Mine I love too. Katya. Yeah. I, yeah, well, Trixie's mine and Katya. Yeah. And they had a Jinx Monsoon shirt too. Oh, that was really I cool. Love Jinx too, yeah. um, let's see if it'll go to the next one. Let's see if I can do this. Come and I on. like that. Like it's, yeah. Whoops. Oh. Okay, oh, so okay. there's okay. This is black short overalls with the rainbow hearts on the side. I thought it was cute. That's yeah, cute. I would I like wear it. that. Yeah, yeah, right. It's cute. My hips don't support overalls, but if they so did, I would do it. So this one is in this in this pattern and design has been on other stuff that they do, but it says not it's not a phase. A phase. Not a phase. And it's the phase okay. of the moon. The moon. Oh. How do you feel about that? I feel like it's mixed messaging because yeah. you are putting moon phases on there. Exactly. Which that is a phase. Yeah. But what you're yeah. saying is it's not a phase. I think it's a lot to read into. I like yeah. it took me too long to get the Just irony. Just put not yeah. a phase. You don't need to put moon. Yeah. In there, you too know? much. Yeah. Okay. What about this? Busy thinking about girls. Okay. It's okay. I know they're targeting the lesbian bike community. Yeah. It's very on the nose. Yeah. yeah. Very, very on the nose with the little pinup girl. I don't love the cartoon. I don't love like cartoon art or like the coon stuff. Yeah. Like I'm not into it. But it would have been cool if it said busy thinking about girls and it was a real butch woman. On yeah, that'd that be dope. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is what I have a problem with. What? This is a lime green jumpsuit for men yeah. like it looks like a mechanics outfit okay um <laughs> and it's it's modeled by a gentleman in my age range which i feel very attacked yeah. um and i we can't can, you can win with you tony i know <laughs> but this is what kills me gay, gay. Just in the back of so, it in bright yellow it just says gay <laughs> so i have to say that i saw the front of it and i thought other than them just assuming that this yeah. is something a gay person would wear yeah what makes it pride so i <laughs> first okay so i saw this part and i was like i wonder if it comes in any co other colors because yeah. that's kind of cute yeah and then when i scrolled to Navy the next would be great. Gay. gay i was like absolutely not this is aggressive can yes. I just say I also tried jumpsuits last summer. I, I, I bought like ten of them. I no, I returned them all. I, oh. I couldn't get any of them to look right. On yeah, I don't. You have to be a certain body type. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have. I don't know what the body type is, but it was very not me. Straight. Yeah. Not literally tall straight. Like and tall you know who? And you know yeah. what? Beef like hardback. No that's the body type. Beef hardback. <laughs> we should. Can we get a tiny a tiny yeah. jumpsuit that says gay on the back of it for beef hardback? Yeah, I'm not about this. I know wow. some people are going to be sporting it this stands. Pride season, but no, thank you. I mean, I you know. What about, okay, they had a lot of graphic tees yeah, that yeah. just had like, queer, 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 I'm yeah. gay, that yeah. type of I stuff. What do you think? Gay. It's loud. Um, I like the colors. Yeah, it's I like pink sure. yeah. with some greens and yellow. and I don't know what that yellow green is called. I don't yeah. It's called what they're it's trying to do in Hillcrest like, of that new building. Yeah. Um, I don't. Uh, this Pew? is what I'm talking about. Puce. Puce. It, you know what it reminds me of? Baby poop. Yeah. Yes. That color. Exactly. Yeah. yeah I, I don't, don't understand I this. I don't get it. Let's show you the next one. Sue, queer, and if queer. just queer, queer, queer on your shirt didn't, you know, wasn't enough. I don't enough, think that was enough. You, now more. you have one that says super queer. I like this one more than the other one. Okay, why? Just, I think because of the graphics and like, yeah. I like the sweater. It's kind of Laura Frankish. Yes. That's it's Lisa what it Frank. is. It's yeah, Lisa yeah, yeah, yeah. Frank. Yeah. It's one of those Franks. Exactly. It's a Frank. Not an Anne Frank. Lisa and I, Frank. <laughs> it's totally not Anne Frank. <laughs> one of the Franks. Debatable. Can you imagine um, Anne Frank up in the <laughs> in up her in attic there. wearing this super queer, just <laughs> lounging around? In her attic with like a fade and like yeah. she's like. <laughs> Give her some of Mohawk. She's like, she's like, you guys, I have something to say. No. <laughs> okay, um, next one. Cure transphobia. cure transphobia, not trans people. I like the okay. message. I'm into the message. I like the message. Why the doctor's logo with the... Because it's not like a disease, I guess. Oh, okay. But aren't you kind of saying... It is a it disease. Is a it disease. is a disease if, if you have that doctor's... Not, yeah. Okay. 
Uh-huh. See, this goes back to the other design it's we were like, talking about. Are, yeah. You know. Yeah. 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 I don't know about that one. I thought this outfit was say cute. gay. I like gay. That. Gay. Simple. I love say gay. Say gay. Say is gay. It? Yeah. Say see. gay because the Florida has that. Yeah. Can't don't say, say gay. Yeah. Yeah. And then with the bright shorts yeah. and the little pink, pink fanny pack. Ooh. Anything in black and four. You I know want a guys. fanny pack so yeah. bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brim. <laughs> that was so red. Okay, I I like this one actually. Yeah, I like, I like this. this yeah, this is cute. Like yeah. Better out than in is another graphic T-shirt with a big eyeball, eyeball with rainbow. Okay, you know what I don't love is that's what people say about farts. <laughs> <laughs> better out th- <laughs> yes it's like a thing that people say this about one i'm not farts. i don't really like the design i don't this get the I eyeball get i understand i don't yeah. like the font they use either Mm-mm. i think in general i would prefer like if you had a shirt that was like the trevor project or yeah if they had like purchased that. like things like like even with trixie mattel like i would rather support trixie and buy something from the website or yeah. you know um, or if they had things where it's like, I've seen for like mental health month, they have sweaters that say like the name of the number of the hotline yeah. for like mental health That's resources. Cool. Yeah. So if it were something more of like ways, like I don't, I don't like things, this one. I'll be honest. I like that. It's on a black shirt, but I don't like the font or the design mm-hmm. and I don't like the wording. I'm sorry. No. Next one, I kind of like this. It just yeah. says pride. Sure. And yeah. it's on a blue sweater, and the letters are in the fonts kind of cool with the pink and the rainbow. Oh, were those yeah. different flags? Yes. yes. They are, the yeah. Different yeah. Flags. The, the yeah. pride layover on the yeah. font is all different pride flags. Yeah. Is I that like cool? That, That's that cool. one I'm down for. I yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay, next one. It says gender is a spectrum, and it just shows a spectrum of color. Okay. okay. It's okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. I can't with this. You wow. guys, it's a bright rainbow squared mumo, you guys. <laughs> wow. What What does that hat say? I can't. What does it say? Gender Good. roles are evil. Are there? There. Dual. I don't know, but this like dress it. is ugly. Uh, yeah, I don't like it. it I don't like I just it. Is this a potato sack? I a rainbow belt potato it sack? Really badly. Can we belt it? I want to burn it. I <laughs> want to, God, take it in about four inches yeah. <laughs> on the slide. I don't, I don't Give like it away. <laughs> no. No, that's not. That's a no. Okay. That's offensive. I don't know. Okay. I don't get this one. It's a, for everybody at home. It is a black T-shirt with a skeleton with his hand out, and it says he is, you is, know, question mark. Is he, you know, gay or dead? Is I'm. I don't know. I'm offended no matter what it is. It but looks like it's I a don't quote like quote from someone. Yeah, I know Trixie and Katya say that all the time. Um, but I don't get the skeleton. Is that is something we're skeleton? missing? Is that a thing and we just don't know? I it wasn't a meme or something. Get it. Uh-huh. I don't get it. You guys, I'm going to post this on our Insta when this comes out. And you, all of you listening at home yeah. and see this. It's what probably this something mean? obvious. We yeah, have no idea. We just don't know. Yeah. I don't understand it. I don't like yeah. it. Why is it a skeleton? I guess. Yeah. Or what did he die of? Uh, I don't like it. It's getting dark. No, yeah, thank you. too dark. Okay. Sorry. Can't think straight with the rainbow brain. I what do just... you think? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. What are we doing? I don't get. I don't know. <laughs> it's like the Amber Crombie shirt, but yeah. it's like anything that you can, can think I... of, any slogan you can think yeah. of, just stick it on there. So this yeah. is something you would only wear at a Pride Festival. Yeah. Right? Are you gonna wear it going shopping at Costco? I don't even think I'd wear it to a Pride Festival. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think I would either. <laughs> Oh, I know. I kind of like this. I one. like this. I, I like this. this. So it's a, a pink. This is like a pink shirt, <laughs> okay, in it, yes. and it says "Live, Love, Live, Laugh, Lesbian." I like, I like it. Okay. It's I a like winner. It. Yeah. I like that one. This is probably one I would even yeah. wear. Yes, you know what I mean? It's like smart and funny on multiple yes. levels. Yeah. I like that one with uh-huh. a very simple font that's kind of reminiscent of the love, live, laugh, laugh, love, love, whatever. Yeah, yeah. I like that. I, I like that one. <laughs> Oh, and then they have mugs and other stuff. That's gender cute. fluid. Yeah. And your coffee it's, mug. I just fluid, don't like the idea liquid. of like thinking it's like gender fluid. Right. I don't want to drink like gender fluids. Fluid. Yeah, I don't want to like drink, fluid. Yeah. drink gender fluid. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. In the in the mm. in the actual design this of the, the mug, fluids you guys. From genders. Yeah, exactly. Mm, yeah, I'm have drinking it. it for breakfast. And the color is weird. <laughs> it's very crafty home act. I made yeah. this in shop pottery cast yeah. type of a thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, 
And that was the last one, you guys. That's <laughs> that is Target's um, contribution to the queer community well, this season. You know, I think things like think? with like the say gay, like there, this is a message, and Target's a big company, yeah. so them taking a stand and saying that we are going to have these things in our stores, like Pride is a holiday. I mean, whether or not they're completely just milking money from us, which is which the point. part of it it is. But yeah. then again, like, it's not the first year they've done it. They've consecutively yes. done yeah. this for however many years. Well, now. and like, could you imagine Hobby Lobby having a gay <laughs> section? You know, <laughs> like uh, you know. So it is a company. Right. It is a big company that makes lots of money. That you know has like you know that core like southern christian yeah demographic yeah that they're gonna piss off so them doing it i i like that i do too i um, do too i really do i think i like that and i feel like this year is much more subdued yeah than what we have had in the past i feel like there's something for everyone there's yes. something yeah. that's like I if you want it to be very loud and you want it get noticed there's that if you want it to be understated you want it to be a little clever then yeah. there's exactly. that so that i'm okay lesbian. yeah yeah that's funny uh, you what you know since we're talking gay pride season there is one last little trending thing i want to talk about oh my god yes guess who's coming out with a new album who dolly parton have you heard yes. about this have you seen the pictures that came out of yes. possibly the cover of the album yep. I've seen, we're gonna check I, this I out i want to instagram so see what you guys think oh, hold oh, on wow. one second while i pull oh, this all yeah. up and we talk about miss dolly amazing her boobs yeah. are so big i love oh, it come on. there we go i Wait. can't decide which one's my favorite Hold I on, you guys. So much. I like her on the motorcycle. Yeah. And then I like her with the guitar. I uh, also like uh, her in the car. I, I love know, that. with those gloves. Yeah. I hate this. Com there we go. Wait, no. Ugh, Hold on. Dolly talk, Parton. talk. You are just going to keep on keeping on. Yeah. And I love you so much. I almost wore my Dolly Parton. Shirt. There we go. Now you can see it at home. So Dolly Parton is releasing a 30-song album of a lot of duets, and it's all because she got... Um, into the red holler inducted into the rock and roll Thank hall you. of fame um yep. so she just she's doing a collab with so many yes famous people and not just like covers of new songs or covers of old songs but new songs too that's awesome um i think it's gonna be great so 30 albums let me pull up what it these these covers though I I like the low rider car one. It reminds I me know. of like yeah. low rider volume two. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, it's and it's like very like Death Leopard. Like. Yeah, and even the yeah. motorcycle one. It looks like there's scallop dust. And sc I don't. I it's like the I'm fog. It's like it. meatloaf. Like yeah. Flat, yeah, you know. Oof. So she on this album, she is doing um, duets with Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr. Of course. Um, yeah. Um, Peter Frampton, Mick Fleetwood. Um, <gasps> Yeah, let it be all of all three of them: Peter Frampton, mm. um, Mick Fleetwood, Paul McCartney, and Ringo Starr doing a "Let It Be" cover oh with Dolly. Wow. Is that gonna be good? Ooh. Heart member Ann Wilson and Howard Lee's. Uh, yeah, Magic are doing a version of Magic Man. Fucking yeah. love Ann Wilson. I know. So much. Uh, Amy Lou Harris and Cheryl Crow are oh, teaming okay. up mm. to do a new song. You're not. You're no good. Pat Benatar mm. and her teaming up <laughs> to do um, a cover of Heartbreaker. <laughs> oh, God. I oh. saw. Uh, so, Heartbreaker is my karaoke song. Is it? Uh huh. I also saw Pat Benatar live um, oh, a few wow. years ago. She's still fucking amazing. Her so, voice. she is going to have. So, she is doing a cover of Wrecking Ball with her, with oh, Miley with Cyrus. Oh. Um, she is also doing with Brandy Car Carlisle, I mm -hmm. think, Carlisle. Um, she's doing You Can't Get No Satisfaction, a, Ooh, a cover okay. of that. Right. Okay. She is doing another song with Pink. They didn't say what mm, it is. Okay. Um, she's doing a duet with Alton John, Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me. Aww. And she's also doing Stairways to Heaven with Lizzo and her flute. Isn't that cool? Fuck yeah, yes. that's the kind of stuff I would This is the one to have. Of or Dolly Parton and Lizzo. Lizzo right? Oh. No, oh. this is the one I'm super excited for. She is doing a cover of What's Up with Linda Perry from Four Non Blondes. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Hey, yeah, her and Dolly hey. are going to cover wow. What's Up. Yeah. So oh, I God. am, and there's a ton more people on that. She's doing one with Joan Jett, Steve Perry, Ooh. Sting. Steve um, Perry. Yeah. It's going to be a, it's, I think it's going to be a really, 
cool album. Um, Dirty this songs. Is amazing. I yeah. Love her so much. Yeah. I mean, I know I tell the story all the time, but I saw her in concert, and the first song she does is Jolene. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. She's you like, I know y'all want to hear it. So and then let's he goes, get it out of the way. Children, like, yes. Give them what I'm, they want, Dolly. I'm curious for the remixes that are going to come yeah. up, with, especially the one she's Lizzo. doing with like Lizzo, yeah. Linda yeah. Perry's, Miley Cyrus, and yeah. stuff. So it's going to be, I, you know what? Good for Dolly. She's what, 80, 80, 100 years old? Mm. She's, she's going to be putting out a new album. She's perfect. I have one of those like Saint candles, but it's Dolly Parton. <laughs> I want I want one of these on a t-shirt, like the lowrider yeah. one. Yeah, the lowrider yeah. one. I would totally rock that on a t-shirt. Yeah. It's oh, good. God, she looks even, fantastic. She too. does. She looks amazing. Yeah. God, Photoshop does wonders. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> it does. I mean, yeah. yeah. Bryn, um, you have some exciting stuff you want to talk about in your Bryn's yes. bisexual breakdown, oh, which yeah. I actually have been working on a theme song for that, which oh, is yeah, coming no. very soon. Okay. It's a little pitchy. <laughs> it's a um, little pitchy. <laughs> okay, okay so go ahead. I've got two pieces Finish of off. news. Not in that way. Not in that way. I'm <laughs> just being the, at the, the same episode. Time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's a different. Uh, take it away, Bryn. <laughs> take old, it away. No, don't fans. take it away. Yeah. Um. So, something exciting that's yes. happening is there is a lesbian character in Guardians of the Galaxy, the new mm-hmm. movie. I want to see this movie so bad. I have a yeah. f- couple friends that have seen it, and so far, it's got some pretty good reviews. People yeah. are loving it. I am a huge Marvel fan. I've watched all the movies multiple times so i'm really excited for this yeah her name's phyla vel okay Phyla Vell. Okay. so it's like openly complete lesbian Good. marvel character mm. so yes and it's from the comics and she was a lesbian in the comics so that's very exciting yep and the I second thing that. is um there is a popular like lesbian and bisexual dating app called her it's her? a dating app that i use and um, it ha- the site recently had sort of been inundated with like um, TERFs, a uh, trans exclusionary radical feminist. Oh, gotcha. Turfs. So like a lot of people okay. saying that, you know, um, they didn't think that trans women should be allowed on the site. Mm-hmm. And it was like a big thing. And everyone was wondering what hers was going to do. And her came out with a statement and they were like, we've got like this big, amazing lesbian community. And that includes trans women. Good. So Good. F- basically they were like, fuck, fuck off. You. Yeah. If you don't, they're like, delete the app. If you don't want it, get off the site. Yeah. They're like, we're the same with everyone. grinder. There's a ton of trans women on there. Uh, my thing is, it's like, you, that doesn't mean you got to engage. If you don't yeah, want exactly. to see that, just, yeah. yes. just block the profile yeah. or whatever. It's not affecting you in just any way. scroll. Yeah, and scroll. Like, or, yeah. yeah. It's like if we're talking about like, you know, like gender identity and stuff, like if that's not your preference, then, yeah. you know, get to step in. But there are a lot of people like me who mm. it's like is fine and open to that. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, like that's what the community is for. So like if you're a trans woman, then like you're a lesbian. If you're, you know, like yeah. if you're a trans woman that wants to date other women, you are a lesbian. So yeah. her yeah. said, you know, basically they're part of our community and like you can go fuck yourself. Good for her. Good. Um, Good, for her. Good, Good for her. her. <laughs> Good for her. Good for her. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Her. <laughs> yes. I remember that. Um, it's like on Grinder. The only problem I have is when we get the cis men on there, and they're very like, no, no men, no gay men, no this or that, only <laughs> by women or trans. And get I'm like, that's here. aggressive. Get it's off. So you know get what get app get you're on, here. fool? Yeah. I saw one today. It was it was like him listing out all of his specs. It was on. It was a. Um, a meme on Instagram. Yeah. Yes. We and know then, that you're not on Grindr. <laughs> yes. Eric, so he says. And then <laughs> somebody responded back with like the computer specs. So it was like core <laughs> Intel Dual <laughs> 2 666 megahertz RAM. And it was just That's listing awesome. all the computers. That is That's awesome. Hilarious. Specs. Specs. <laughs> specs. I say stats. Give me yeah. a stats. One, don't stats. message me if you have nothing on your profile. <laughs> That's true. That's just, you're lazy. Yeah. You're yeah. lazy. Yeah. You know, at least make it up. Make it up. Yeah. Put a good story out there. I mean, but to have like, nothing on there. And then when they, oh, this bugs me the most now that we're talking about an yeah. app. When they text and they have nothing on their profile and say, send me your picture or like send me more pictures. I'm like, fuck you. No, you send me one first. <laughs> or it's, not, it's just pick question mark. Yeah. Right, like yeah. nothing else. Yeah. Pick. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm like, go away. I also have seen some where it's like just the torso yeah. and it's like, 
can't show my face for now. Once we talk, we'll send I face pic. That. And you're like, fuck <laughs> you. Yeah. No. Uh, uh-uh. uh, or <laughs> I hate the butthole pictures. We've talked about <laughs> that. You know what? Especially you have a poo, like your your whole butthole stained and brown. Don't send it to it's me. It's frightening. Like It's God. gross. <gasps> you know what's the worst? Like when they do send it and they have hemorrhoids. That's happened. <laughs> and I'm like, does this face look like I want to see a bunch of hemorrhoids in your picture? Fuck no. Uh, Get out of here. Block. I guess they want you to know how hard they can push. I don't know. Oh. Uh, people are weird. Painful. People are weird. I've taken a kind of a, a, a break off the apps for a bit. A it's, couple days. It can be tough. It's a lot. Yeah. People are weird out there. Mm-hmm. People are so weird. Uh, when it's like me, confident, outgoing, going. knows what I want, you, not needy, has your own <laughs> shit together. No daddy issues. I hate the ones that have wow. like a laundry list of, yeah. you have to have this, this, mm-hmm. this, this. I'm like, I don't got time to read your biography I, exactly, of like, like I yeah. pages. Yeah, or they would tell like their entire life story and like, no. when I there's was like an ten. arc. And, yeah. It's like, it's like a fucking when you get a recipe on the internet and <laughs> yeah. it's like, I lived on a small town <laughs> in Virginia. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I, read a fucking recipe. Yeah. I sat I on those care. eggs for six months yes, before they had Exactly, yeah. and my father was cruel to cruel me. Cruel to me. <laughs> he locked me in the cellar. I just and want like mac and cheese. Yes. To eat. Yes. I just, like, yeah. I just want the fucking mac and cheese recipe. Yeah. It's a recipe <laughs> for a margarita mix. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're like, what the fuck? And that was my third divorce. Yeah. And you're like, no. <laughs> you're looking yeah. up like, how do I make rice on the stove top? Yeah. And it's like... <laughs> It's a dissertation. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, what you get. Like, it's like so long. Oh and you're my like, God. I just want to know if we like vibe. Yeah. yeah. What are you it's obsessed with right now? Let's finish it off with that. What am I obsessed like, with? Like, because right we now? said Beef was our last show that yeah. we've been watching. Yeah, you're right. I've been watching it, by the way. It's oh, good. So good. It's so good. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, are you, what, are you, what is your, what are your, your current obsession, Bryn? Okay. What am I obsessed with right now? Well, this would be our click, would it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? Click. Let's do our Play click. Play some music to it. While you guys think about it. Can I go first? Yeah, yeah. Of I want to give a friend of uh, the podcast a shout out. Pablo at um, uh, Moe's, the bartender. Oh. Pablo Diablo. Um, his If you go to pablo-diablo.com, he has wrote to, written a series of essays that are loosely based off of Hillcrest community oh. and working mm-hmm. in the industry. I, um, I started reading them. I have become obsessed. One, he is an amazing writer. He's oh, really nice. good. That's so His awesome. any the first essay he writes is kind of an introduction, but it's called Home Sweet Homo. Um, is is the collection of essays that he did, but it's a, really about the community working at Moe's. He changes names and locations, um, but it is a really cool group of essays, and he's been putting them out every week. Um, if you go to Pablo Dash. Diablo.com. You can start reading all of the essays. They're on there. We'll have a link on our website. But go check it out. He is such a good writer. Um, and they're in, being here in Hillcrest in San Diego makes it even better to read. Because I'm like, oh, I know who he's talking about. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's really cool. Go, go, everybody out there, go check it out. Oh, that's that's going to be mine. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. yeah. And that's like a homegrown one. Yeah. Yeah. That's and, and if you go to Moe's, say hi to Pablo. He's a great yeah, guy. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He'll get you fucked up, but <laughs> he's a great guy. Yeah. Go ahead, Brad. What do you got? You know what's really good is, I think it's on Netflix. It's called Mo, And it is about, um, uh, like, I think he's like a comic. It's about a Mo. man I mean. from Israel and he like with the war he has to like immigrate to the united states as a child and then we like start the show with him as an adult and he's like taking care of his mom and taking care of his brother who has autism okay. and he's like um you know he can't he's like in the process of trying to get asylum Oh, and it sort of shows us like people that are caught in that system. So he's technically not here legally, but he has like applied for asylum and it takes like years and years and years. And it just like is su- super, super cool. And like he's got this super dope girlfriend that has like her own auto body shop, which is like okay. strong women. <laughs> yeah. And so it is, it's like a sort of like look and there is set in Houston 
So okay. it is like this, you know, man from the Middle East in Houston and like, oh. you know, and the, it, it's it's really wild because he's like a really good guy and he's fun and he's funny and he works hard. But it kind of shows you like what can happen to you when you're stuck in the system yeah. like that. Yeah. You know, you're neither here nor there. So check it out. Mo on Netflix. It's really on good. Netflix. Nice. Oh, nice. Look at it. You went real deep. <coughs> Mine is so, so deep. Yeah. I don't know if I talked about it, but, but I think it's so it's the Eva Longoria show on CNN called Searching for Mexico. You did. Did I talk oh. about yeah, it? Yeah, you, you literally did it on the last yeah. episode. <laughs> wow. Well, there's another episode where they talk yeah. about like third genders, which is really cool. Oh. And so oh. what like I'm, second like um spirit like uh Two spirit. Two spirit. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. And so the thing that oh, I like cool. about it is you get like a history lesson while you're like really watching food, but you kind of learn different parts of the regions and different I parts still of. Check out you know, so I it's love worth food. it. Yeah, and it's very women empowered too. On top oh, of it, cool. so nice. Yeah, What's can, it on? I can add more to what I said the last. Yeah, time. there you go. Um, it's on CNN. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I love Eva Longoria. Yeah. Me too. Do you Desperate know that she Housewives. was a producer on John Wick? Yeah. It's was so she weird. really? Yeah. No. Like, yeah. Yes. I do How did know that, that happen? <laughs> she produces a lot, but that was yeah, but one that of the was it, strange. Like, so strange. Yeah. I saw like I like went and then I looked back because I was rewatching them yeah. before I saw on, the like, fourth one. On all the John Wicks. On the, on, it was the fr- <laughs> I was rewatching the first one and I was like, wait, did that say Eva Longoria? It's like executive producer. She did Eva all Longoria. of them. Yeah. All of them. Did you watch all of them like before the fourth one? Yes, I, I did. I did the same thing, but I didn't watch the fourth one. Yet. <gasps> um, Keanu Reeves was in San Diego this week. What? Doing he what? He was at the Casbah on Sunday. <gasps> Yeah. What? To see I some artist. So some much. band. Yeah, he was here. What would you have done just if he was like at Moe's or something? <laughs> oh my God. Like just hanging out at the bar, he, <laughs> ordering a black so, lemonade. I hear he's so nice. He seems, yeah, yeah, from what I hear. I hear too. he's like the nicest human being. Yeah. yeah. That would have been cool. And he's oh like God. ordering the flaming mother flucker or whatever, <laughs> <laughs> having, a, having a blackout lemonade at Moe's. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Yeah. Oh crazy. my God. But you guys, that is our show this oh, week. Hey, yeah. We, did it. we already did it. Um, how do people find you, Eric? You can find me on Instagram, Daddy Bear Eric. Oh, hold on. Go ahead. Say it again. You can find me on Instagram, Daddy Bear Eric. There you go. You can find me on Instagram at a real Bryn Mac. There you go. You can follow me. It's Tony underscore baloney underscore macaroni. I do. Oh, we have to do talk about something. So we're actually going to be out. At, we're going to be out. We're going to be at out at the fair this year. The Del Mar Fair. If you're in San Diego, it, I believe, opens June 10th or the weekend before that. I'm not sure. But we will be at the fair June 10th for out at the fair. We're going to have a booth. We're going to be broadcasting there all day. So we're going to be there probably a little drunk or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a whole day event. They have some really, really talented people lined up this year for out at the fair. Um, we'll be there just hanging out. So if you do come to the fair in San Diego at Del Mar, go come check us out. It's June 10th. We will be there from like 11 to 5, I believe. Yeah. Um, all day on a Saturday. Yeah, it's We're gonna be fun. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Yeah. We're gonna talk about fair, fair food. Fair food. Yeah. <laughs> food. Yes. Uh, I can't yeah, wait. it's gonna be fun. And um oh, and if you do come to the bo- to the to the booth, you actually get to meet Caesar. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, Caesar will be there. And uh, Firefighter Steven's coming to help uh, out too. So yeah, yeah, some of our podcast friends will be there. Mm-hmm. It'll be fun. I think it's going to be a fun little... It's going to be so fun. Yeah. For us. I want deep fried outfits. everything. I yeah, know. Gonna We're going to do food reviews. I might suspend my vegetarianism for that day. Mm, so that we really? Can, so we can truly live in the moment. In the moment. In the moment. But yeah, <laughs> June 10th. Here in San Diego, Dalmar Fair, we will be there for Out at the Fair. So get your tickets. We're going to be there. It's going to be a really fun day. Um, you can follow the podcast. It's who invited her underscore podcast on Instagram or who invited her SD on Twitter and Facebook. Um, you can go to our website, whoinvitedher.com. We will have information for Out at the Fair on the website. So you can go there if you want to get more info about that. Um, don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button and watch us our faces every week <laughs> um, we have next week I think it's maybe just no we're doing it Monday night because we're going to have you yeah. guys are going to LA you yeah. and Caesar yeah. are going to go like see heaven. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Take pictures of Karen O yeah. for me, please. Uh, okay. Yeah, so we're going to talk about that yes. next week. I am going to be having a Eurovision finale marathon for five hours, so I know I'm going to have that to talk about. <laughs> the week after that, we're going to have local um, Drag Queen Snowflake coming on. And then um, in a couple of weeks, we're going to have somebody I'm very excited for, Flamey Grant, a local musician yes. drag queen who just released uh, an album. I think it was in November. Amazing album. She's going to be on the show, too. So, yeah. Fun. It's going to be fun. But anyways, that is it for us, you guys. We will see everybody next week. Bye. There we go. All right.